All right, for these problems, we're doing the same process we did before in the previous video. We're using this property here. So whenever you see a constant over x to the higher power, uh, that's going to go to zero as x goes to plus or minus infinity. Okay, so the, we're doing the same process here. We're dividing the top and bottom by the highest power in the bottom. 3 over x, 2x squared over x. The bottom here, you get 3x over x minus 1 over x. All right, uh, simplifying, we can do next. Uh, you get just 2x there. The bottom here, you get 3 minus 1 over x. Anytime you have a constant over x to a certain power, that's going to go to 0. So in this case, when I plug the infinity in, I do get a 0 for that one, but this negative 2x, technically I can think of that as negative 2 times infinity. I can think of that as putting an infinity in there in that case. On the bottom, I have 3 minus 0. Again, that's going to go to 0 at reducing that property. Now, what, what's left here is you get 0 minus 2 times infinity. Well, 2 times infinity, negative 2 times infinity is going to give you negative infinity. So the answer for this problem uh, is going to be negative infinity. We can kind of think of that as uh, infinite number times a negative that will change the sign and make it negative infinity. Okay, on the bottom, same thing. Divide top and bottom by the highest power in the denominator, which would be x to the 3 halves. So we're dividing everything top and bottom by x to the 3 halves. All right, simplifying it, those are both going to cancel out and you get a 5. On the bottom, those are both going to cancel out also and you just get a 4. And then plus this part, it's going to go to uh, 0. Again, you have x to a power, as long as that power is greater than 0, which it is, we know that that's going to go to uh, 0. So the final answer for part B is going to be 5 fourths. And for part C, we have a radical that's here. First thing what I'll do is I'm going to uh, change it into a 1 half power. I'll do that down here. So 5x to the 3 halves over 4x to the 1 half plus 1. Okay, then next, what I'm going to do is divide everything top and bottom by the highest power in the denominator. 5x to the 3 halves over x to the 1 half. Everything down here, I'm going to divide it by x to the 1 half. Okay. Then we can do some simplifying. We have to subtract powers here. So top power minus the bottom power. 3 halves minus 1 half is going to be 2 halves, or just x to the first power. On the bottom, halves cancel, I get 4 plus 1 over x to the 1 half. As x goes to infinity, I'm going to be putting an infinity into that one, but this part's going to go to 0 down below because of the same property we've been using. So here's what it looks like. I have 5 times infinity. On the bottom, I have 4 plus 0. I get infinity over 4, that's still going to be infinity. So I would have infinity is going to be the answer.